What's up guys and welcome to another video and let's get ready to wake up and react to another episode of Chainsaw Man. Episode 2. This is my favorite show right now, but... I'm... Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. I have a lot of theories based on last week's episode. I did share that with some of you on the Instagram live that I did last week and then I deleted it because I didn't want spoilers posted in the comments. And, um... People, people, but people can post spoilers on any of these reaction videos, so if there's anywhere I'm going to say it, I'm going to say my theories here. It's no different than any other show, right? But, um, what I think I'm going to do is I'll go into what my theories are in the intro, and then maybe, like, in the, the review part, I'll go into the whys, because the whys take a while, and it'll be a lot quicker to just say, I think this, 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 and this about this person done okay so i don't know her name the woman who found denji at the end can't trust her she's a manipulator she manipulates anyone she can as long as she can so this is what she uses i think she uses her fake ass kindness as a tool to manipulate other people and lure them into this false sense of security and get them to love her and you know they do anything that she asks, and in reality, she could give a fuck about them, and she really just wants you to help further her own goals, her own schemes. That's what I think about her. Because if you think about it, guys, and I know some of you are going to be like, well, I mean, that's normal. <laughs> Roof over your head, food. Yeah, but she recognized the two things that he'd wanted. I should say three. The three things he'd wanted most in his life in the, what, 30 seconds to minute she first met him? Affection. She hugged him. No, who's gonna hug a random person that asks them to hug them? Especially with a chainsaw on their fucking face. No one's gonna just run up and hug somebody. No. Gave him affection. Promised a roof over his head. And food. A warm meal every night. She recognized the three things our, our main character had been lacking. Had been desiring. Had been wishing for. You know, girlfriend. Nice place to live. And food. Jam on his bread. His entire life. Not to mention the fucking swirly eyes look like just like hypnotism eyes like ooh look at the watch <laughs> I don't know but yeah I don't think you can trust her at all that especially if you look at the intro not good not good um and that's what I'm going based off of mind you I don't read the manga the only things I've seen are the first episode the intro obviously the first episode and the the trailers and the trailers don't give that away at all. I got all this based on this one scene in the intro, the movie scene, the movie theater scene, we're all sitting there. Um, and yeah, I won't get into theories about characters we haven't met yet, because I guess that doesn't really matter, but I have theories about the, all the characters we see in the movie theater, especially the devil, which I think her name is Power. Um, I'll just say this, I think we can trust her. I think she's crazy. If you look at the trailers, but I think you can trust her. Like, she's somebody who's crazy, but she's upfront about it. This bitch you just met, she's a piece of shit, but she hides it. I think I'd rather have the crazy person I know is crazy on my side. Because these little mind games this bitch is about to play, I'm telling you she's about to play some games. I'm not with it. And I'm not like, I'm, I don't like her. You guys can call me crazy. You guys can call me crazy all you want. I don't care how many people diss me in the fucking comment section, blah, 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 blah. I don't give a fuck. Because when I'm right... And I know I'm going to be right. My gut is telling me this. You guys will be, who's going to be laughing? Who's going to be laughing then? Me. Me. And I'm going to be like, give me kudos. Give them to me. Now. I deserve accolades. <laughs> okay, all right. Enough messing around. Let's jump into this. Crazy bitch. Look at her hypnotism eyes. I can't even stand you already. I hate you. There's something so sus about you. I don't like you. Look at her. Oh, I can't. Mm, no, fake. Fake. What? Look at her face. Look at her face. Another thing. I hate that they're threatening him. Work for me or I kill you. 
But she entices him to work for her. Because, I mean, he could have tried to kill them off. I think he probably would have lost because they... He, know, he doesn't really know how to fight. He kind of just went berserk against zombies. They're not hard to beat. These people are probably trained. They, they're like trained devil hunters, killers, whatever. Hunters, I think they call them. She's not. I think I kind of... Yes, 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 yes. Being one person's dog to another person's dog, just transferred owners. Haven't broken your chain yet. Oh, we're going, we're going on a trip, man. We're going on a fucking trip. You are gonna be just so loyal. Mm. This is about the last bitch you need to be liking right now. All right, for those of you in watching this on YouTube, this scene right here told me a lot about characters. This person's important, definitely important. I don't know about these people. She feeds him a fucking popcorn kernel. Good doggy. Good job. You, here's a treat. You did well today. Power comes in here, I think. The way she sits down tells you everything about her. Everything. Unapologetically herself. She just she's just herself. Doesn't hide anything. She does. I can't fucking stand her. I can't stand her. Ooh, the bitch. I, guys, I'm telling you. I'm telling you now. Do not trust her. They're already laying the seeds for you not to trust her and don't take anything she says at face value. But I'm telling you, this bitch is on. She's giving this giving me Renner and Climb vibes. He's gonna be her Climb, her dog. Oh, <laughs> good job, good puppy. And she's gonna be the Renner to his Climb. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. You know how Climb was none the wiser that Renner was a crazy manipulative bitch. Same thing with him. He might be a little on. Mm, he might know a little bit. He's like, mm, dog. Maybe he's happy with it though. Maybe maybe it'll be that he knows he's a dog, but he's alright with it because he's being treated well. At least he's a master who's not abusing him. I don't know. Okay. Stop acting cute, bro. So fake. So that means you can talk to him again. He's not gone. Mm. <laughs> I knew he was gonna take advantage of that. Such a dog, dude. You. Denji! Makima. Nah, she's not the one, bro. Yep, manipulator. Right there, manipulator. No. Oh, he happens to be your type. Bitch, please. Bitch, please. Bitch. You're not thinking about the fact. Like, oh, 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 okay. Back up. Why would she like someone like you? You're a dog. You're not a dog, but you act like one. Dogs are loyal to their masters. They do anything they tell them to do for a treat. A good pat on the head, a hug, a lap pillow. This guy. Denji, I love you, but please, put it together, my guy. I hope we don't have to wait seasons for him to put together that she's just a user. No. You're not- no. You're not gonna get to get- no. You're not gonna get together, and if you get together, it's not- it'll only be real for one of you. <laughs> the weekend. Get together. Mm, no. I don't approve. Your mother does not approve, so no. Look at this, look at this. If you're a good boy. She's 
She's so good. She's so fucking good at it. She's so good at it, bro. You gotta give it to her. Well, guess he caught on to some. What the fuck? Why did you do that? I knew it was gonna be a problem that he's a monster working for them. I knew it. Everyone's gonna give him a hard time. Everyone. Except power. Power might be the only one who understands what it is to be in his position. They don't approve of a monster killing monsters. Bitch, that's nice. Hey, he's not getting into it for that. He's getting into it for a fucking roof over his head. He's been through a lot, bro. You don't know his fucking story. <laughs> his face, wow. She said she'd kill him. Oh, the aim was pretty good, though. You should ask him for his side of the story. Come on, man. I mean, he guess I guess he kind of did. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Denji! Not a pushover. Well, at least. Oh, again! Oh! Damn, I love you. Oh, I love you already. Do you know how many times I've watched an anime and I've told characters, kick him in the balls, kick him in the balls, and they never do it. This guy didn't even have to be told. Oh, you are cold, Benji, and I fuck with it. Oh, I fucked with it so much. Oh, my God. Okay. Listen, at least he's not a dog when it comes to other people. I guess he's just a dog when it comes to women, but, I mean, can you really expect anything else? Thank you. Yes, yes, tell him, tell him, tell him. I don't know what that means. I don't know what <laughs> Go for the balls, works every time. <laughs> well, maybe he'll get along with the other people in his unit. <laughs> Kill him. They're gonna kill you. I hope it gets to a point where you can just protect yourself and fend off anyone who comes at you because I don't like this situation. Yes. No. 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 Definitely not. Oh, I wonder why. Bro, these people don't think. These don't- they don't think, bro. Saved you to use you. Use you. Not cause she likes you. Is it good, for real? <laughs> Alright, enough. You're being obnoxious. Oh, okay. Can you do it? I don't know, I'd be scared. It probably hurts. He doesn't need to turn into one. He's been a devil hunter his whole life. Didn't need to? まあ、俺の力使っ
Power, I can't wait till you come into this show, girl. How do you not love him? How do you not fall in love with this character? Killing every devil he possibly can. もう100点の生活なのに。もう100点の生活なのに。もう100点の生活なのに。もう100点の生活なのに。もう100点の生活なのに。もう100点の生活なのに。もう100点の生活なのに。もう100点の生活なのに。もう100点の生活なのに。も
Pochita didn't kill anybody. I mean, he, well, he killed devils, but he didn't kill any humans. So, I think that they have the capacity um, for lo to feel love. Human emotions, it's clearly possible. I mean, look at Pochita and Denji's relationship. So, and um, as for power, I wonder how she, was it a similar experience? Like, how did you, how did you turn into a fiend? Well, I don't really know what you would classify them as. I think Makima called her a fiend. But, yeah, I really don't know what you would call them. Uh, maybe the, is it fiend? Let me know in the comments. Is that just what I'm supposed to call them? Fiends? Or devil? I don't know. Anyway, not important, really. But, yeah, I, he said the Hayasaka put them together so that they wouldn't be able to do anything cool. No, I don't think that's the case, because clearly she just killed the devil. And even before that, like I said, I think it was because you said, Denji said, he had no friends, um, and you've never, like, it was your first time eating udon and sausage and toast with all that jam on it and taking baths every day and all of that, like, you're experiencing all these things for the first time. So, I think he's starting to realize how sad Denji's life was and how much it lacked. Just things that, uh, I would say are normal it's normal for everyday people to have he was deprived of and so he appreciates everything um i love that character i was just thinking about how he kicked hayasaka in the balls it was really funny um because he plays dirty like he he's not over here trying to be noble or whatever like he's gonna do what it takes to win and if that if his best shot at taking someone down is kicking him in the balls well that's just what, that's just what he's gonna do i love that i dude how many if, for those of you who have been watching me for a long time put it in the comments below have i not been saying for a while in my reaction videos go for the balls kick him in the balls i i've said that so much and someone finally did it without even having to be told oh it's so satisfying oh my god um Makima, yes. So now that I explained, I kind of went into the why I think she's a manipulator a lot more than I probably should have <laughs> in the intro. I wanted to like wait for the review to do all that, but I got carried away. So, but hopefully now you understand why I don't trust her and you can kind of see it. Like she treats you like a dog. She told, she said you're a dog and you act like a dog. She said she's going to kill you the second you don't want to work for them anymore. Why is she going to kill you? Think about that. Why would she kill someone that she cares about? She could look the other way and let you get away. She could come up with some fucking excuse for how you got away from her and she wouldn't get in trouble. She wouldn't get fired. She might get in trouble. But minimally, right? No. She says straight up, like, I'm going to kill you. We will kill you. Why? Think about that, Denji. Think about that for a second. Why would she kill you if she really cared about you? Because you're not useful to her anymore. Hmm? It's sad, I know. You don't want to think that, you don't want to believe that because she's the first person who's shown you kindness your entire life. But sometimes you can't trust that that shit is genuine, dude. And that's something that he's going to have to learn. He hasn't had a lot of experience with people. Um thus far in his life he's probably he's been around the same person that just that that uh guy from the yakuza and now that he's been around he's going to end up being around all these different types of people from this bureau i think that you're going to start to be able to tell the difference between kindness that is genuine and kindness that is a mask and a tool used to manipulate you Power and Makima, I think, are really good examples of someone whose kindness is genuine, someone who's just genuinely themselves and upfront, versus somebody who uses their kindness and as a mask and constantly wears a mask and never really shows shows their true self to other people. Uh, she, what, like he literally said to this episode, what are Makima's goals? What does she want? 
I think that's what we're supposed to be asking ourselves here. What does this bitch want? What is her goal? What What is she after? What, what are her machinations? Hmm? What are they about? Why does she need me, really? Who does she want me to take down? You're going to have to practice on all these lower-level devils probably first before you're sent after probably what she's really after, which I don't even know what that is. But I'm sure we'll get into it later. Um, and then... Power, I really do see her and Denji becoming really close friends. They're both, like, probably the only devils in the Bureau. Because she said this is a special unit. This is, like, experimental. Um, which is why, you know, they all know that up front. This is an experiment. If it doesn't work out, you're done. Which, <laughs> they're not gonna just, well, maybe Denji would, but... Power's not just gonna let you kill her. She doesn't come across that way. That bitch is nuts, and she likes to go for the kill. So if you're gonna try to kill her, then she's probably gonna kill you. Now, I'm curious, how did you get somebody like that onto your side? How did you get them to voluntarily, like, sign up for this fucking program? Be a part of this whole, what is it, dog and pony show? Something like that. Anyway, um, why, Power, why? You seem like the type of person who doesn't take anyone's shit. So why? Was living alone and, and just killing without having any friends? Like, was it just... Maybe she had friends. I don't know. I shouldn't assume her life was like Denji's. But she seems lonely based on the trailers. Like, she's just walking around naked and alone in the streets. Like... I don't know. I mean, man, maybe I'm jumping the gun. I might be jump to, jumping to conclusions here, but she comes across really happy and like maybe, but maybe she wasn't always that way. We'll get her backstory. We'll see. I'm really curious as to why she's, I just I vividly remember her walking down the street naked, just like this, kind of in a daze. I, something, she went through something. She went through something. I don't know. But anyway, um, but I think that they're going to uniquely understand each other's situations because, like I said, they're the only two devils there. They're probably going to get a lot of shit because you're working with humans who are like Hayasaka. They've probably witnessed loved ones or people close to them or maybe cases where people have been murdered by devils and they don't trust them. They're not able to see the good side of them, right? You guys have had your own unique experiences, all of you. Denji has his, He's he was able to see the good, the good in a devil, that they're capable of good. Hayasaka saw all of, all of the bad that they're capable of, none of the good. And I don't know what Power's experience is, I'm really curious, I want to know. Maybe she falls somewhere in the middle, I don't know. Where? Well, I'm, I'm not saying that Denji only sees the good in devils, clearly that's not the case. Like, he, he sees that they're actually they're terrible people, I mean, look, he killed a whole bunch last episode. He knows. They killed him. They fucking chopped him up into little pieces, but he can still see the good in them. He doesn't just try to see the bad. I mean, granted, he really did only mercy kill that guy because he wanted his dirty, you know, needy magazines. But still. <laughs> but still. <laughs> he did say it, though. I think he was telling the truth. I mean, he used it as an excuse so the guy wouldn't be suspicious about him wanting the magazines, but I, do, I think he was telling the truth. I would... I would befriend a devil. Why? Well, I mean, I don't have any friends, so why not? Plus, his experience with Pochita. I'm just saying, this show is so fucking good. This show is so good. I, I, if anyone doesn't like this show, it's got to be because of the gore. Because the story is peak. Oh my god, it's so good. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking so I can get this up on YouTube for you guys. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And Sorry. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And if you guys want full reactions, you can catch that on my Patreon. The link for that is in the description below, so please check that out and sign up to support the channel. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here, guys, and I will catch you in the next reaction.